notes from across the globe from robert muller director federal bureau of investigation for his superb cooperation in fbi development usa 2010 united states attorney officers for the district of columbia 2010 republic of philippines 2021 commissioner of police kolkata 2021 he has a wide professional experience mr keshav kumar sir joined in 1986 as a ips officer in gujarat state through that he retired in last year 2021 he has so gujarat state cadre as well as new delhi central government mumbai and the various positions in government of gujarat he has also the foreign professional training from asia africa middle east eastern europe oceania north america he has number of conference attended the foreign professional conference in united kingdom france netherland uk he has received the foreign professional fellowship international visitors leadership fellowship program of us government 2009 special contribution to the establishing the institute the various institute namely few highway accident prevention committee under the chairmanship of district collector kheda 1993 cyber crime cell in amdavad 2004 wildlife crime cell wildlife coordination cell 2007 and so on he has a frame the rules of regulation of cyber cafe in gujarat as directed by honorable gujarat high court in 2004 he has conceptually policing in a tribal area develop pictorial comics in rathvi language of offenses under the indian penal code for tribal areas in 2002 he has the various professional field membership he has at a police forum committee form for the change of police forum and the various other committees in police forum academic affiliations member of academic council of gujarat forensic science university professor of eminence at national forensic science university gandhinagar emirates resource faculty at rashtriya raksha shakti university gujarat he is a engage in wild life forum membership of organizations of a various institute he has delivered the lectures training programs semi in seminars panel discussion workshop on the topics such as forensic science wildlife forensics police institution judicial training banking and finance government institutions private institution and so on he has delivered the lecture on the topics such as national forensic science university gandhinagar in forensic like institute iisc bangalore and various institute i can say in gujarat outside gujarat gujarat university gls bhartiya vidya bhavan police research and development chandigarh and so on he has a 58 successful case experience successful conviction case experience he is very actively and achieved the leadership disaster management as a district superintendent of kheda as a district superintendent of kutch as a district superintendent of vadodara during his service tenure he has a social initiative in police welfare fund raising camps legal literacy in awareness all culture policing in tribal area anti corruption and anti bribery forensic science and allied field so this is a very impressive and a not worthy points of mr keshav kumar sir out of his cv i professor dr mayank ivyas 
on behalf of all of you on behalf of ama welcome mr kesav kumar sir with the flower and the bouquet we have a talk an hour and so and 10 minutes followed with the question answer session so now i hand over the session to mr kesav kumar sir a very good evening to all of you uh, incidentally it's a very warm welcome <laughs> so you know my topic is uh, securing business uh, through preventive vigilance and preventive uh, uh, forensics now th this topic would be very new to all of you because in normal times i mean uh, not many people would be knowing about forensics naam suna hoga how many of you have heard the word forensics are baap re baap almost all <laughs> and how many of you have heard um, uh, heard the word of preventive vigilance preventive vigilance sabhi kafi hai good i am so happy to hear but you know the idea is to uh, educate you on all these things uh, should i speak in hindi or english jo aap bataye gujarati ha uh, hindi uh, gujlish मिक्स में बताते हैं तो एक्चुअली इट्स ए वेरी डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक फॉर ए कॉमन मैन बट यू नो आई हैव टेक अप माय सेल्फ टू डिमिस्टिफाई फोरेंसिक्स फोरेंसिक्स जो वर्ड है बड़ा डिफिकल्ट है बहुत लोगों को समझ में नहीं आता है तो उसको कैसे एक आम भाषा में फोरेंसिक्स में कैसे आपको समझाऊँ वो मेरा एक प्रयास है और पिछले पैंतीस साल से मैंने पुलिस में फोरेंसिक्स में बहुत वर्क किया मैंने और अभी तक फोरेंसिक्स के आधार पे 61 लोगों की सजा हुई है मेरे इन्वेस्टिगेशंस में अभी आपने देखा अभी तक का फिगर 58 था लेकिन अभी वो 61 हो गया अभी चार पांच दिन पहले आपने पेपर में पढ़ा होगा इंडियन एयरफोर्स के ऑफिसर्स को सजा की गई है आपने पढ़ा होगा पेपर में तो वो मैं जब सीबीआई में था तब मेरे पास वो इन्वेस्टिगेशन था उसमें सजा हुई तो टैली ऑफ सिक्सटी वन हो गया है तो फोरेंसिक्स में मेरा बहुत ज़्यादा विश्वास रहा है और ये मैं चाहता हूँ कि एक आम आदमी के लिए फोरेंसिक्स कैसे मदद रूप हो सकता है उसके ऊपर मैं ये आपको थोड़ी सी अपनी थाट्स शेयर करना चाहूँगा बट नॉट इन ए पुलिस वे तो आप लोग घबराइएगा नहीं कि फिर पुलिसिंग शुरू हो जाएगी यहाँ इज जस्ट टू डिमिस्टिफाई फोरेंसिक्स तो आज का मेरा टॉपिक जो है हाउ टू सिक्योर योर बिजनेस मैंने देखा कि गुजरात में एवरी वन इज ए बिजनेस मैन और हर आदमी कुछ ना कुछ बिजनेस करता है तो फोरेंसिक्स के लिए उनको साथ कैसे जोड़ा जाए तो मैंने सोचा ये टॉपिक अच्छा रहेगा एंड आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू मिस्टर प्रवीण जो कि एच के ओनर हैं ही गेव द आइडिया कि साहब आप इसके ऊपर एक Uh, आप लेक्चर दें तो आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू हिम कि उन्होंने इस दिशा में विचार किया कि यस फोरेंसिक्स को हम बिजनेस uh, में भी यूज कर सकते हैं तो फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आई थिंक कि आप लोगों को थोड़ा इसमें इंटरेस्ट आएगा तो मैं जो है वो टॉपिक्स जो डील करूंगा उसके बारे में मैं थोड़ा बताना चाहूँगा कि एक तो आज का दिन बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है महत्वपूर्ण इन देंस कि आज इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेस डे है तो आई मस्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट दीपल फ्रॉम एम ए आई मस्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट दीपल फ्रॉम एम ए जिन्होंने इस चीज की अहमियत को समझा और आज के दिन ये टॉपिक पे एक लेक्चर रखा तो मिस्टर राजिया जो प्रेसिडेंट है यहाँ के बैठे हुए हैं आई एम कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग द एंटायर एम ए थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच तो मैं जो बात करूंगा आज आपके पास उसमें सबसे पहले मैं बात करूँ सिंस इट इज गुजरात 
तो गुजरात में बात करूंगी इकोनॉमिक ट्रेंड्स क्या है इकोनॉमिक ऑफेंसेस कितने हो रहे हैं उसका क्या ट्रेंड है कहाँ कम हो रहा है कहाँ ज्यादा हो रहा है फिर मैं बात करूंगा कि आपके बिजनेस में जो आपके स्टाफ हैं जो एम्प्लॉयज हैं वो कहाँ कहाँ लीकेज कर रहे हैं और वो लीकेज को कैसे हम स्टॉप कर सकते हैं तो वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉय फ्रॉड्स के बारे में बात करूंगा फिर मैं बात करूंगा ये जो फ्रॉड्स हो रहे हैं उनको प्रिवेंटिव विजिलेंस और प्रिवेंटिव फोरेंसिक्स से कैसे हम रोक सकते हैं देन आई विल टॉक अबाउट दर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट जब आप किसी को एम्प्लॉय करते हैं तो वेदर वो आदमी जो है वो आपके लायक है या नहीं आप तो उसकी सीवी देखेंगे ना सीवी देख के आप उसको इंटरव्यू लेंगे और उसको सेलेक्ट करेंगे लेकिन क्या सीवी में सारी चीजें दी जाती हैं सीवी में सारी चीजें नहीं मिलेंगी आपको तो उसके लिए मैं रिकमेंड करता हूं फॉर हैविंग पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट प्री एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड उसी के बाद पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट पोस्ट एम्प्लॉयमेंट जो एम्प्लॉयमेंट हो जाती है उसके बाद आप क्या एक्शन ले सकते हैं फिर बात करूंगा मैं फ्रॉड्स के बारे में कितने टाइप के फ्रॉड्स हैं कैसे उनको रोका जा सकता है फिर मैं बात करूंगा फ्रॉड डिटेक्शन आप फ्रॉड को कैसे डिटेक्ट कर सकते हैं अपने अपने बिजनेस में देन आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रिवेंटिव विजिलेंस से कैसे रोका जा सकता है उसके बाद में फोरेंसिक्स के ऊपर आऊंगा तो फोरेंसिक्स में मैं बात करूंगा जो नॉन इन्वेसिव टेक्निक्स है कैसे किसी आदमी को आप अप्रिशिएट कर सकते हैं उसकी बैकग्राउंड को आप पकड़ सकते हैं इसके लिए तीन चार टेक्निक्स हैं लेड वॉइस एनालिसिस सस्पेक्ट डिटेक्शन सिस्टम एंड आई डिटेक्ट ये सब के बारे में बात करूंगा लेड वॉइस एनालिसिस जो है वो आवाज पकड़ के बता देगा कि आदमी सच बोल रहा है या झूठ बोल रहा है उसके दिमाग में क्या काम कर रहा है सस्पेक्ट डिटेक्शन सिस्टम कि ये आदमी सस्पेक्ट है या नहीं देन आई डिटेक्ट सिर्फ आंख देख के वो मशीन जो है वो बता देगी कि आदमी सच है झूठ है कितना बेईमान है कितना ईमानदार है तो ये टेक्नोलॉजी के ऊपर आ गया बट दीज ऑल आर नॉन इन्वेसिव टेक्नोलॉजीज तो इन सबों के साथ मैं अपना बिगिन माय टॉपिक तो सबसे पहले लिटरेसी की इकोनॉमिक ट्रेंड्स क्या है अगर आप ये ग्राफ पे देखेंगे ये लाइट्स थोड़े ऑफ हो सकते हैं क्या सो दैट दे कैन सी इट बेटर थोड़ी सी लाइट ऑफ कर दे ना थोड़ी सी लाइट ऑफ कर दे हाँ पूरी बंद हो जाएगी अच्छा 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 छोड़ दे छोड़ दे न दीजिए तो अगर आप ये ट्रेंड्स देखेंगे तो देर इज एन इंक्रीजिंग ट्रेंड ऑल ओवर ये आप ग्राफ देखें तो 2019 तक जो इकोनॉमिक ऑफेंसेस रहे हैं बिजनेस में और कॉपरेट में वो काफी बढ़ते रहे हैं 2020 में थोड़ा कम हुआ है बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड और इसमें जो सबसे बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट जो क्राइम है वो आप देखेंगे तो वो है कि इफ यू सी द क्राइम फिगर तो फोर्जरी एंड चीटिंग फोर्जरी और चीटिंग सबसे ज्यादा रहा है तो फोर्जरी इज टॉपिंग द लिस्ट चीटिंग देन क्रिमिनल ब्रीच ऑफ ट्रस्ट एंड फोर्जरी फोर्जरी इज 86 परसेंट तो आपके बिजनेस का 86 परसेंट अगर फोर्जरी में जा रहा है तो इट इज अस्ट ऑफ कंसर्न नाउ लेट अस सी कि ये जो कॉमन टाइप्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉय फ्रॉड्स हैं वो क्या क्या हैं? एम्प्लॉयमेंट एम्प्लॉयज के जो फ्रॉड्स हैं वो थेफ्ट ऑफ कैश अनऑथराइज बिलिंग मनी ट्रांसफर्स ओवर पेमेंट किक बैक्स ब्राइबरी ओवर बिलिंग बेनिफिट फ्रॉड वर्कर्स कॉम्पनसेशन फ्रॉड एसेट मिस अप्रोप्रिएशन पेयर ऑल फ्रॉड डेटा और इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी थे जो लास्ट में जो दिया गया है वो सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट हो रहा है बिकॉज एवरी थिंग इज गेटिंग डिजिटलाइज प्रोफेसर व्यास ने भी बताया कि चारों तरफ जो है डिजिटलाइजेशन होता जा रहा है एंड आज सबसे जो धनी आदमी है वो वो है जिसके पास सबसे ज्यादा डेटा है तो डेटा इज मनी सो वी हैव टू सेव देम वी हैव टू सिक्योर देम Now let us see, जो employees frauds हुए हैं मैंने इसका स्टडी किया कि गुजरात में इम्प्लॉज फ्रॉड किस किस टाइप के हुए हैं नॉट ओनली गुजरात एट ऑल इंडिया लेवल एंड एट दी वर्ल्ड लेवल तो आप देखें सबसे पहले जो हुआ जो ध्यान पे आया लेटेस्ट है ये सारी बातें ये साढ़े तीन करोड़ के इम्प्लॉयज ने फ्रॉड किया है ऑन दी प्रोटेक्ट ऑफ गिविंग गिफ्ट वाउचर्स आई एम श्योर बहुत सारे कंपनीज वाले होंगे 
जो गिफ्ट वाउचर्स देते होंगे गिफ्ट वाउचर्स में कैसे फ्रॉड हो रहा है इसमें साढ़े तीन करोड़ का हुआ है द नेम्स ऑफ द कंपनीज हैव बीन प्रोटेक्टेड और ये जो है सेल्स मैनेजर थे एक बैंक के उन्होंने दस करोड़ का फ्रॉड किया और इसके कौन कौन साथीदार थे इसमें एक एम्प्लॉय थे एक लॉयर साहब भी थे और एक बिजनेसमैन भी थे इन तीनों ने मिलकर के करीब दस करोड़ का फ्रॉड किया उन्होंने क्या किया दे मेड फेक स्टैम्प्स लेटर हेड्स तो यू हैव टू सेफ योर लेटर हेड्स एंड स्टैम्प्स देन फेक क्लाइंट्स आई डोंट नो इसके बारे में कभी किसी ने ध्यान दिया है यानी कि आपके क्लाइंट्स कितने हैं सो ट्वेंटी क्रोड्स का फ्रॉड हुआ है फॉर फेक क्लाइंट्स फेक क्लाइंट्स बनाते हैं वर्ष का वर्ष आप देखें अमूल में भी उनके जो असिस्टेंट मैनेजर थे उन्होंने अकाउंट्स डिपार्टमेंट के असिस्टेंट मैनेजर ने चार करोड़ का फ्रॉड अपनी वाइफ के साथ मिलकर के अमूल में किया है ये ये न्यूज है मे सिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इसी महीने का है उसके बाद एक्सिस म्यूचुअल फंड में वीरेश जोशी ही वॉज चक डाउट because he was doing front running then banking and financial institutions jo hua hai usme bhi kafi fraud hue hain and deloitte ne survey kiya deloitte ne jo survey kiya usme bataya ki increase ho rahi hai fraud incidents mein banking institutions mein jamnagar jaise ek chote shehar mein ek retailer online retailer ne 8 lakh ka fraud kiya ye world figure hai वर्ल्ड फिगर में यह बताया गया है कि फ्रॉड कमिटेड बाय एम्प्लॉज राइजेस ड्यू टू कोविड 19 तो देर इज ए नीड टू लुक आफ्टर योर अकाउंट्स कि कोविड के बाद क्या इसकी स्थिति है नाउ लेट अस सी द लीकेजेस ऑफ कंपनीज रिसोर्सेज ये सारी रिसोर्सेज जो है आपके कंपनी की लीकेजेस uh, हैं अब लीकेजेस क्यों हो रही हैं द फर्स्ट थिंग इज इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ एम्प्लॉज एंड द लैक ऑफ इंटरनल विजिलेंस इसके लिए वट इज दिंग दैट वी कैन पॉसिबली डू सो द सोल्यूशन इज प्रिवेंटिव फोरेंसिक्स एंड प्रिवेंटिव विजिलेंस नाउ दिस इन टू फील्ड प्री एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड पोस्ट एम्प्लॉयमेंट आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर डूइंग प्री एम्प्लॉयमेंट चेक्स ऑफ द एम्प्लॉज होम यू आर गोइंग टू हायर सो आई हैव ए प्रिस्क्रिप्शन दैट प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर दैन क्योर नाउ वट इज प्रिवेंटिव फोरेंसिक्स now the first thing that uh, that comes to my mind is if we have the personality assessment before you are employing a person now what are these personality test what is why it is important now a company achieves maximum productivity when it matches employees to their best suited job so you have to get such a person who is suited to your job that can only be possible through the personality test now what is the employment personality test now these are the things the five attributes that are being looked after are agreeableness emotional stability openness of the person extroversion then conscientiousness these things can be found out by the personality test now some famous employee personality test what are the tests that are going on any any of you from here from this forum been able to do any personality test before employment any idea no one my company we are doing you are doing it oh very good acha acha oh very good very good so you are in the right path and i wish you all the best so this is a caliper profile what does it do it analyzes 23 different attributes egotistical drive aggressiveness risk assessment leadership time management etc then comes you know this is how it will be evaluating the employee and the competency overview it will be seeing the critical competencies like coaching and developing others deliberate decision making driving results important competencies and supporting competencies this is through uh, through a personality test now this predictive index predictive index is yet another new uh, personality test and it is time limited employment it takes only 12 minutes to assess a person and it analyzes four aspects of personality that is dominance extroversion patience formality it also checks up to secondary aspect that is decision making and the response level 
This is how a personal uh, will be getting evaluated if that test is done on predictive index test. This other test is Myers-Briggs type indicator and this is the most used one, most important one. And it analyzes 16 different types of personalities like dominance, influence, steadfastness and consciousness. These are all the uh, tests through DISC assessment. Now what does this assessment do? It analyzes from the point of view of the employee how he thinks, how he acts and how he reacts. Sense, act and think. These are some of the attributes like, you know, hateful, haughty, hedonistic, hyperbolist, hesitant, harried, hassle, handed, high-handed, harsh, and so on and so forth. And this is how that disk assessment of the person can be done and an evaluation of the employee, if he is suitable for the job or not, can be established. This is yet another test, situational judgmental test. How an employee may respond to certain workplace situations. Now, I was just wanting to know how many companies are using these facilities. So I hunted up the uh, web and I came to know that these are some of the important companies who are already doing the pre-employment test. I'm very happy to find one gentleman here who is already doing it personality test through the consultants. Now, these are some of the important companies who are doing the assessment from the personality tests and then taking up employees. But ultimately, when you are doing a business, what is of more importance? Subse bade importance is vigilance honi chahiye or ethics honi chahiye service mein, business mein. Now let us see integrity ka part. Integrity ka part ko kaise hum analyze kar sakte hain? And what are the risk landscapes? Risk kya hai? How are we going to manage the risk? Now, there is an association of certified fraud examiners and the annual report came in 2020. Now, this has studied about 125 countries and number of cases. Usse hi lone pura nikala ki fraud kaise ho raha hai, pura fraud ki bar mein study kiya hai. I would recommend that you people can possibly get hold of this report and just see it from the point of your business. Now, what are the quantum losses? Annual losses kitne ho rahe hai isme? Annual losses hai 6.3 billion. Imagine karo kitne loss ho rahe hai. And this is nothing but a leakage. Of your resources and the quantum of loss more than 1 million is 23 percent just see the quantum then the quantum of median loss per case is fifteen thousand dollars now what are the factors that are contributing to frauds why are frauds being committed so 53 percent goes to the figure of weakness in internal controls or overridden controls. So this is the main area that we have to look for when we are trying to control frauds. 30% goes to collusion between employees and third parties. 17% to collusion between employees. 17% again to employees or management unfamiliarity with the red flags of fraud. Red flags of fraud are very important hai and unfortunately we don't give it to us. 13% to ethical climate in affected department of organization and 7% to weakness in physical security. You know, I personally, I feel that whenever you go to any company, you will be seeing so many security guards employed and they are, you know, all over. But it, it contributes only 7%. So there is too much of focus on the physical security. 7% to weakness in IT security. This is also a very small percentage. 7% to weakness of management or board oversight. So ultimately, if we have an uh, understanding, then the understanding is that weakness in internal controls contributes 53%. So if we are able to focus on the internal controls, I think the leakages can be controlled to a great extent. Then what are the vulnerabilities? And what are the sectors perceived to be the most vulnerable to fraud? Now, I leave it to you that you sector. Mein aate hai. So, if you see, 33% financial services. So, of all the people who are sitting here, if you are associated with a financial service uh, business, then 33% of financial services are getting affected by financial frauds. 17% of information and entertainment. 14% industrial markets. 14% real estate and infrastructure. 10% telecom, 7% consumer markets, 5% other healthcare and social sector. 
Now, you know, of all these frauds that are taking place, <coughs> how do we detect fraud? Fraud ka kaise detect kar sakte hain? So we come, let's come to the fraud detection. Now, sources of tips. Tips kahan se milenge aapko? In your business, where are you getting, going to get the tips from? So if we see, what are the sources of tips that you will be getting in your business? So competitor gives you only 1.5%. Shareholder, 4.30. Other, 6.5. Vendor, 8.8. .8, anonymous, 14. Customer, 21. And the major chunk of tips that comes to you is through your employees, 45%. So what does that indicate? It indicates that 45% employees jo hai, wo aapko tips denge. So employees are considered to be one of the most important factors in detection of fraud. So employees give 45% of the tips. That means that we have to focus on our employees. Now see, 75% of employees have either personally experienced or witnessed some form of workplace misconduct during their working life. 75%. Imagine. And you know, I don't want to rattle you with figures, but these are very, very indicative. This will give you a direction that you have to give attention. Now, any idea, uh, when does, uh, when would you know that our company has fraud? When will you know? How much time will you take? Any idea, any wild guess? Time frame. Huh? Kisiya bad? Balance sheet. They made time push around. Ek mina, do mina, this mina, ek sal, do sal, teen sal. Time figure. Kidna same me up. Minimum time kidna me pata chalega. Six months. Huh? One month. Actually, jo survey hua hai, survey me asa aya hai, ki fourteen months tak up go pata ni chalega. जब डिटेक्ट होगा ना तो एवरेज टाइम 14 मंथ्स का है तो इट मींस कि 14 महीने तक तो आपके रिसोर्सेज गए उसका क्या तो यू नो द आईडिया इज टू गेट टू नो दिस फिगर्स फ्रॉम द रिसर्च सो 14 मंथ्स के बाद आपको पता चलेगा कि आपके कंपनी में फ्रॉड हो गया है नाउ लेट अस सी जो लॉस कितना पर एनम हो रहा है 5% ऑफ रेवेन्यू लॉस पर एनम फिर अगर आपके कंपनी में आपने एंटी फ्रॉड कंट्रोल्स लगाए हैं तब क्या होगा लाइक सपोज कि इफ यू हैव पुट हॉटलाइन तो अगर आपने हॉटलाइन लगाया है तो 13% आपको पता चलेगा इफ यू हैव एंटी फ्रॉड पॉलिसी देन 13% इफ द फ्रॉड ट्रेनिंग फॉर एम्प्लॉइज आर गिवन देन यू गेट 11% एंड फ्रॉड ट्रेनिंग फॉर मैनेजर्स एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव्स देन यू गेट 9% सो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एंटी फ्रॉड कंट्रोल्स is associated with lower flawed losses and quicker detection. Now, what are these internal controls? So, one third of frauds are because of lack of internal controls. Now, which are the departments most affected? The most affected departments are, very incidentally, you may kindly have a look. Operations, 15%. Accounting, 14%. Executive upper management 12%, sales 11%. So operations is the area in which you have to focus for controlling frauds. Accounting 14%. Now, uh, police mein kitne log jate hain? Fraud ho jata hai to batane ke liye. Police mein report likhate hain? Kitne log likhate hain? Zyada tar log nahi likhate na? Zyada tar police mein nahi likhate hain. So, 46% of victim organizations declined to refer cases to law enforcement because internal discipline was sufficient. That is what they took. Now let us see. 42% of occupational fraudsters were living beyond their means. If any of your employees is living beyond his uh, means, like you know, he cannot afford um, uh, maybe the latest Maruti vehicle. So that can be an indication. Ki yaar, iske paas kahan se aaya. So 42% of the occupation of trusters were living beyond the See, this is one of the one of the very big characteristics. 
then 26% of vocational fraudulents were experiencing financial difficulties. If your employee is experiencing a financial difficulty, I think it is a cause for concern. Or usko aapko chara dhyan dena hoga. Then, corruption was the most common scheme in every global region, which is contributing. Now, how much tips you get with training or without training? If training is given to your staff, then you get 37% of the tips. Without training, sorry, with, trip, uh, with training, you get 56% and without training, you get 37%. So training is very important to your staff. Now, 43% of schemes were detected by tip. So tip is a very important thing. Now, what are the behavioral red flags of a fraudster? So there are seven key behavioral signs of a fraudster by which you can estimate that, yes, this person is a fraud. Now, what are those behaviors? So 85% of all fraudsters displayed at least one behavioral red flag. Now, these red flags that I'm going to tell before you, that will be very, very interesting. And if you find these signs and symptoms among your employees, there is a cause for concern. So 42% were living there beyond, uh, beyond their means. Now, what does living beyond the means, uh, beyond the, the means mean? Not saving money, unable to pay bills, credit score closer to 1000, no emergency fund. These are some of the signs about the employees. Now, one red flag in every study since 2008 was the financial difficulties. So 26% people were suffering from financial difficulties. 19% were unusually close with association with vendor and customers. 15% were unwillingness to share duties. These are some of the signs, the red flags for frauds. They were irritable, suspicious, defensive, 13%. Wheeler dealer attitude, about 13%. Then personal life issues. What are the personal life issues? Like stress, doubts, fears, problems, worries. Uh, some of the personal life issues. Now, among these personal life issues, living beyond means has scored the highest. So if any of your employees is living beyond the means, then I think it is a cause for concern because it is contributing 42%. 26% to financial difficulties, divorce, family problems. These are all psychological issues, but it is affecting your business. 12%. Internal controls related, what are the internal controls that we can possibly look after? So, let us begin the biggest one. The biggest one is lack of internal controls, that contributes 32%. Overriding of existing controls, 18%. Controls are there, but that is not being implemented, 18%. Lack of management review, 18%. And poor tone at the top, 10%. The others are lack of independent checks, audits, fraud detection, and so on and so forth. Now, let us understand... How do you get to know that this person is a fraudster? Kaise pata aapko? Now we have tried to profile a fraudster. So sabse pehla jo hai, that is profile of a fraudster is tenure. If he is with you for more than six years, then he will be contributing twice to your resources. So, occupational fraudsters who had been with their organization at least six years caused twice the loss of less tenured employees. So, I think they should not be at one place. Then, age, age, kiya gaya, to age mein dekha gaya ki those people who are 55 plus, they have been the biggest fraudsters. And the youngsters, they are less than 40, wo sabse kam rahe. Now, how do you respond to a fraud? Now, the first thing that responds is to informing the uh, law enforcement agencies. So, only 59% cases were referred to the law enforcement agencies. Then, how do you control the frauds? How do you control the fraudsters? Now, how frauds are concealed? So, let us see how frauds are concealed. Top four concealment methods, fraudulent physical documents. Physical document of fraud. Kar Altering physical documents, 
27% altering electronic documents. So if you are trading, if you are doing things in a digital platform, be very careful because the electronic documents can also be changed. 26% created fraudulent electric documents or files. Now what are the reporting mechanism of frauds? How the efficiency is to be estimated? So 64% of victim organizations had hotlines. So hotline could be one of the areas in which you can possibly think of implementing in your business. So no hotlines, median loss doubled. So if you have a hotline, then the loss is less. If you have no hotlines, then the loss is more. So hotline and reporting mechanism effectiveness with hotlines, 12 months. Without hotlines, 18 months. Agar aapke company mein, yeah. Hotline is direct phone. Laga diya. One, they say toll free numbers. Hote hai. Like in anti corruption bureau here, we had a toll free number 1064. Anyone could pick up and give a call. So if you have a hotline in your company, then people will be tempted to inform. Hotline be inform kar dete hai. So that there are no intermediaries because PS play a major role. PA phone in the gage. Kya baat hai? Kya baat karni hai? Then it's half free in a meeting. Mein so if there is a hotline, you can get it recorded. Like in the Anti-Corruption Bureau, each and every phone call that is given on toll-free, that gets recorded. An action initiated on that uh, phone calls. So if you have hotline, then you will come to know about the fraud. Ek saal lag jayega. Lekin agar hotline nahi hai, to athara mihne lagayega. So the choice is yours. Now hotline and reporting mechanism effectiveness kya hai? 48% of cases detected by tip with training. Without training, 36%. Then tips with training, 56%. And tips without training, 37%. Now, hotline and reporting mechanism may organizations with hotlines detected fraud by tip more often. 49% of cases were detected by tip with hotlines. Without hot, no hotlines, 31% only. So a quick tip is very important. So, you know, the trend of hotlines is increasing. Now it has increased to 49% as the graph is showing. Now, what is preventive illness? Now, let us come to, now let us forget about the figures because they are all indicative. Now, let us understand what is preventive vigilance. By preventive vigilance, one means that how you simplify rules and procedures by curtailing discretions, improving transparency, strict accountability, promoting uh, uh, promoting uh, awareness, educating the employment. So these are the parts of preventive vigilance. What is detective vigilance? To receive complaints and scrutinize, investigate verifiable allegations, to investigate allegations, then conducting surprise inspections in your branches, in your office. How many branches have you uh, conducted the surprise inspection? Then introducing elaborate checks and controls. What is punitive vigilance? Whether a matter involves fingering angle, that has to be established. Whether a matter should be entrusted to law enforcement agencies or handled departmentally. To review the punitive action taken by the staff. Preventive vigilance again. Now a new word has come, participative vigilance. What is participative vigilance? Participative, uh, participative vigilance is when all the four stakeholders, the stakeholders, the customer's opinion, in the decision making process for more transparency this is participate you know let us participate and do the work so you can observe a lot just by watching this is what uh, so far i have been able to sell the idea now let us come to how to inquire our own staff it is very difficult to inquire your own staff what are the tips how we can possibly do it so forensic helpful Tips. These are some of the tips that I am trying to promote. Now, what is preventive forensics? Now, whenever you, you are confronting a problem, then you are uh, getting uh, an issue of whether the person is speaking lies or truth. This is problem, right? That he is saying or he is How do you know? How would you know? So, I am trying to address from the forensic point of view. And my prescription is that fraud investigation and forensic interface is vital aid to detection and prosecution. If you use forensics, use preventive forensics. So you will be able to detect 
and also prosecute that person and take action. Now I'm coming to the uh, psychological forms of non-investigation, non-investive, uh, sorry, non-invasive uh, forensic investigation. Non-invasive का मतलब है आप उसको मारना नहीं है, कुछ नहीं करना है, सिर्फ बात करना है. बात करके कैसे आप उससे निकाल सकते हैं कि आदमी सच बोल रहा है या झूठ बोल रहा है. Now what are the new psychological forensic techniques? सबसे बड़ी टेक्निक जो है, which I personally feel is the voice analysis. This is a new technology developed by the Israelis. और ये voice analysis जो है, this is called layered voice analysis. What does it do? It finds out from your voice if you are energetic, if you are passionate, emotional, uneasy, stressful, thoughtful, confident, concentrated. इतने सारे parameters वो machine आपको बताएगा. जिस आदमी के साथ भी आप ये बात करके उसके software करेंगे. Now the best part about this tool is there are two forms. One is online mode, and the other is offline. Online जैसे रूबरू में बैठ के बात कर रहे हैं, and if the voice is transmitted through the software. आपको स्क्रीन के ऊपर आ जाएगा कि सच बोल रहा है या झूठ बोल रहा है। ऑफलाइन, इफ इट इज अ रिकॉर्डेड कंवर्सेशन, चेन्नई में बैठा है, उसका रिकॉर्ड कर लिया, उसको फिर सॉफ्टवेयर में डाला, सच बोल रहा है या झूठ बोल रहा है, दैट विल कम टू नो। सो दिस इज़ द ऑनलाइन मोड, रूबरू साम This is the word ray. आप देखिए यहाँ पे truth सच बोल रहा है। यहाँ पे stressed है। These are all the questions. And you know what are the findings? Truth, highly stressed, stressed, high tension, inaccuracy, probable false, extreme stress, probable false, inaccuracy, extreme stress. You know this is how you will be able to establish that person. ये सच बोल रहा है जुलो only by analyzing the voice, inaccuracy. Now what are the features of LVA? That it is easy to learn, easy to operate. It analyzes free speech. It is language independent. संसार के किसी भी भाषा में वो बात करेगा, वो मशीन बता देगा कि आदमी झूठ बोल रहा है। It's not कि नहीं गुजराती में बोलेगा तो ही पकड़ेगा, इंग्लिश में बोलेगा तो ही पकड़ेगा नहीं। Because it analyzes the voice, it doesn't analyze the language. So it is language free. Interactive analysis display है इसमें। now what are the uses of use कहाँ कर सकते हैं इसको accuracy is ninety five percent do you think it is a very good tool जो आवाज सही पकड़ने की सच बोल रहा है झूठ बोल रहा है ninety five percent accuracy you can use it in undercover work sensitive position recruitment आपको अपने organisation के लिए chief financial officer को recruit करना है you can use this technology to assess कि कितना सच बोलेगा कितना झूठ बोलता होगा ये now there is a very good video on LVA. I would like you all to kindly uh, have a look. What exactly is LVA? Kindly have a look. Light off kar paayenge kya? A new innovation for law enforcement awaj, to get to the awaj. real truth. The science of lie detectors has advanced. Eyewitness News reporter Robert Olguin joins us now with a closer look at this new tool for investigators. Robert? Mark, traditional lie detectors or polygraphs measure your breathing, your heart rate, even how much you sweat. But this latest innovation is checking for lies exactly where they start, with the human voice. Please pay attention. I answer as quickly as you can. Set in a futuristic Los Angeles, the movie Blade Runner predicts a world where private eyes use computers and mathematical equations to measure emotional reactions as part of a test that can detect deception. What do you mean I'm not helping? Now, more than two decades later, what was once science fiction has become the latest tool in law enforcement. Think of a polygraph as a black and white picture. This is a color picture. Lynn Robbins is talking about layered voice analysis, which goes far beyond the methods employed in traditional lie detector tests. This measures the frequency of the human voice as somebody speaking in real time using conversation. It doesn't matter what language they speak. Robbins is the president of the Wisconsin-based company that's marketing the technology to law enforcement agencies around the world, including the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Without this technology, the investigator may decide to, to drop that line of questioning and go another direction. Yet this tool may say, hey, you know what, there's some deception here. Maybe I need a little more probing over here. Unlike a polygraph test, which measures stress levels, layered voice analysis is measuring the frequencies in a person's voice, 
even those inaudible to the human ear. The way the, the frontal lobe of the brain communicates with the vocal cords of the human voice, there's a wide spectrum that covers the entire human voice. We put the technology to the test using footage from what was one of the most infamous presidential speeches ever made. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. When you see a false statement with an SOS, you have something that's very wrong. Even in real time, the machine seems to detect my attempts at deception, even my attempts at honesty. Do you live in LA? I live, yes, in Los Angeles, in the city of Los Angeles. In clinical trials, Robin says the technology has a 95% success rate. It's currently being used on a trial basis with the LA County Sheriff's Department's crime lab. Another option for interrogators and officers who say this technology could be used in conjunction with polygraphs. Robin says the software has applications outside of traditional law enforcement. Some European countries are using it at airports to screen for falsified passports and terror suspects. Robert Olguin, ABC7, Eyewitness. Uh, how did you find this uh, test? Huh? It can be used. And it's not to kill it, it's not to kill it, it's not to kill it. What is Pardon? Legally? No, I don't understand. Legally? Yes. No, it's like whatever the test that I'm going to discuss with you, they have absolutely no evidentiary value. It is just an aid. You know, it facilitates your decision making. If you have a gut feeling, then you subject this person to LVA. Then you will get fortification. Then whatever you say, don't appoint him as a uh, chief of financial officer. I mean, it is all preventive, you know, prevent. Yeah, yeah, say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. This, if you see my earlier slide, I had narrated about eight, nine parameters. The best part with this is it analyzes the voice. Voice to analyze karta hai. Aap ek bar jhut bolenge. Das bar jhut bolenge to pakde jayenge na. So these are all preventive things. How you can prevent, how you can get a proper person for your company. That is the basic idea. Now, the other thing is suspect detection system. This is yet another new tool which will tell you whether the person is suspect or not. We have been using these tools in our criminal investigations. And we have been using it in CBI since 2010. And I have used it, I think, in about 200 cases. And in fact, I'm doing PhD on all these things. How can psychological forms of investigation give you some evidence? It doesn't stand the scrutiny in the court. Court may not mean it. But if it can be corroborated with other evidences, then you, the court will be accept, uh, accepting the evidence. So now let us see what exactly is suspect detection system. So a light off occurring. Hi, my name is Shaftai Shoval and I'm the co-founder of Suspect Detection Systems, SDS. SDS was established by managers coming from strong security and high-tech background. SDS mission is to fill the gap of intelligence with technology. We developed Cogito, the first fully automated interrogation system. It is deployed globally and proven by security agencies all over the world. How does Cogito work? Cogito enables mass screening of travelers in border crossing and checkpoint. The system presents on-screen questions to examinees and measures the stimulated reaction using various sensors. 
While the traveler is answering the questions, the system detects his or her uncontrolled response to verbal stimulus. After a five minute test, the system output is suspect or non suspect and the nature of suspicion. For example, involvement in ISIS or working for drug cartel. The Cogito system can reach 95% accuracy. Each of Cogito systems includes biometric sensors, psychophysical sensors, camera, microphone, and computer. Cogito line of product includes various configurations depending on purpose. It could be stationary or mobile. All data from all Cogito systems can be concentrated in one central database for BI and intelligence purposes. Cogito is deployed globally. Each customer uses Cogito in a different way for different purposes. Border control in Asia, forensic and intelligence in Asia, Latin America and the Middle East, and aviation security by American Airlines. Imagine you can detect terrorists among travelers. Imagine you can know what your suspect is hiding using a five minutes test. Now, you don't have to imagine anymore. Cogito is available and proof. Now let's see about the eye. How do you put the eye from the eye? Now you can see the light off. This is the last video. Now this is eye detect which is the most accurate light detector and it's 86% accuracy in 30 minutes for a screening test. Simply by watching the eyes. Now let us see how it works. Imagine if you could spot liars just by looking into their eyes. Well, scientific research now proves that a new technology can accurately detect deception in as little as 15 minutes from someone's eyes. It's called Eye Detect by Converis. Here's how it works. Research shows that lying causes involuntary changes in the eyes. Why? because lying is more cognitively demanding than telling the truth. In other words, you have to think harder to tell a lie, and your eyes react as a result. During an eye detect test, a participant sits in front of a computer and answers true-false questions with a mouse. During that time, eye detect monitors changes in eye behavior with a high-definition camera that takes 60 measurements per second of each eye. The test is non-invasive, meaning no cables or sensors are attached. When the test is completed, an algorithm analyzes the data, and the person is classified as either truthful or deceptive in less than five minutes. That's all it takes for this innovative technology to validate truth. iDetect is used by more than 500 customers in 40 countries. Customers include governments, law enforcement, departments of corrections, investigators, attorneys, therapists, and private companies. There are two types of eye detect tests. Screening tests take about 30 minutes, are 86% accurate, and are ideal for evaluating job applicants or current employees on various topics. Diagnostic tests take about 15 minutes, are 90% accurate, and target specific questions such as those in criminal cases. Need to know if someone is involved in illegal or inappropriate activities such as robbery, drug use, bribery, sexual assault, espionage, terrorism, or any other criminal behavior, then eye detect is the answer. Eye detect does a better job of protecting the innocent while exposing the guilty. Never before have organizations had access to a deception detection tool this powerful. If you're looking for a fast, scalable, unbiased, non-intrusive, affordable, and consistent way to accurately detect deception and validate truth, then contact us for an eye detect demonstration. Yes, eye detect proves that the eyes are the window to the soul. Visit Converis.com. Now, what are the targets, target markets and applications? National security, justice, law enforcement, uh, public services, then enterprises organizations for security, for services industry, for banking industry, for finance, for insurance companies, logistics, manufacturing. I'm sure there will be a number of manufacturing 
people sitting here doing business with manufacturing, <coughs> retail, transportation. Now, this can also be used in uh, pre-employment screening, recruitment, then employee evaluations, code of conduct and ethics. Now, what are the things that you can possibly find out? Stealing, felonies, divulging secrets, fuel theft. So these are some of the things that you can possibly get to know from these uh, uh, techniques. Then money laundering, criminal ties, fraud, unauthorized transactions. Now, what are the benefits? 85% accurate, efficient, 30 to 40 minutes only. Scalable is secure and uncorruptible. Is portable, not invasive, cost effective, and examiners can be trained in just one day. So, screen potential new hires, conduct purity screenings of current employees. Now, I'm coming to the most important part. You know, I've been uh, 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 doing PhD on this. You know, of late, everyone has been running after computers. Kisara information computer mein hai. And we have been targeting computers. Obviously, with digitalization, we have to focus on computers. But, you know, we have been unnecessarily in race for targeting the hard disk of a computer. What I am trying to understand, or I am trying to do what I am trying to natural hard disk is natural hard disk. Do you understand? Natural hard disk. Natural hard disk is our own. So, in the artificial hard disk, if we natural hard disk, pakde, to do, don't you think it will be a better uh, proposition? Using all these techniques, we will target kare, and we, then we get the right person. So that is why I am trying to use psychology. We use investigation mein forensic psychology. Use karte the same technique I want to use for the corporates also. Why not use psychology for getting the best people? So I am trying to analyze the mind. Now, one of the first things that comes for analysis of mind is character is known by characters. How you write? Aap kaise likhte hai? That is also a depiction of your brain. Kahan kaam kar raha hai? So let us go in for handwriting analysis. Now, what I call it? Graphology. I'm sure there are uh, graphologists jante honge iske mein, handwriting analysis. Ke mein. So instead of crime, I want to business mentor karna hon, ki bhai business mein hum handwriting expert ka fayda kaise le karke, we can get the best of the employees. Handwriting analysis hum ko kya kya mil sakta hai? Number one, ki it detects personality traits like creative and intelligence, liar, low self-esteem, dual personality, blame and sensitivity, struggle in relationships. You know, I do a little bit of graphology aur I have studied it, I have seen that even Suicidal traits can be found out from your handwriting. And there could be so many other traits by which we can possibly know that the person is working on the brain. So let us go after the natural hard disk. Where can we use it? Forensic statement analysis. Ko. It detects concealed information, missing information, and truthfulness of information by only analyzing the handwriting of a person. Where all it can be applied? Special crime, economic crimes, anti-corruption cases, bank frauds. This are we use kiye hai. Now, what are the prescriptions? Meri sabse pehle prescription ye hai, uh, with my varied experience in uh, policing for 30 years, doing work of anti-corruption and vigilance, that we must have a chief vigilance officers in private and public enterprise as a watchdog. Jo sabko watch karta rahe hai. Or by feedbacks, the tips, collection of tips. Do you think this can be a good uh, idea? Uh, do you think it can be a good idea? Why not hire forensic accountants? We have National Forensic Sciences University, which are rolling out n number of forensic accountants every year. Why not uh, get their benefit? Try to employ them and get the financials uh, to be inspected by them and find out all the problems. So, think forensic, think beyond, stay ahead. This is the message of the presentation. Of all the tips that have been given. And last but not the least, what our Honorable Prime Minister has said, 
दैट प्यूनिटिव विजिलेंस से बेहतर है कि प्रिवेंटिव विजिलेंस पर काम किया जाए एंड देन ब्लॉक द लीकेजेस दैट आर टेकिंग प्लेस इन योर कंपनी गुड टू सी यू थैंक यू सो मच आई थिंक आई हैव टाइम में मैंने पूरा कर दिया है या या थैंक यू नाउ वी ओपन ओपन टू दी क्वेश्चन या प्लीज प्लीज गो हेड मैंने टेक्नोलॉजी हाँ खुद ने खुद ने मैंने ऐसा बनाया है कि मेरी गट फीलिंग बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग हो गई है एंड यू नो विद रीजनेबल अमाउंट ऑफ एक्यूरेसी विद रीजनेबल अमाउंट ऑफ एक्यूरेसी आई कैन रीड बिटवीन द लाइंस एंड आई कैन रीड योर माइंड और उसके बाद ये जो मेरा गट फीलिंग है ना उसको फिर मैं फोर्टिफाई करता हूँ विद ऑल दिस टेक्निक्स दैट एव टॉट क्योंकि मेरे गट फीलिंग की कोर्ट uh, नहीं मानेगी देखिए ऐसा है लेट मी लेट मी क्वालिफाई या आर यू वे जर्नलिस्ट अच्छा 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 मैं आपको बताता हूँ एक्चुअली यू नो मेरे जो पीएचडी का जो सार आ रहा है वो सार ये है कि ऑल दीज साइंटिफिक टेस्ट विच आई हैव स्पोकन हियर एंड इसके एडिशन भी ऑल दीज साइंटिफिक टेस्ट आर साइंटिफिक इन नेचर साइंटिफिक इन नेचर है बट द यूज इज एन आर्ट कैसे आप कंबाइन करके उसको यूज करते हैं so you know this art has to be learnt only when when you are personally investigating all these things aur ye sare tests jo maine bataye they have absolutely no evidentiary value it has to be fortified by other evidences and it not only indicts it also exonerates i hope i have been able to answer your question yeah 1947 1947 एक मिनट This is my answer. Economic offenses कितने बढ़ गए हैं आप देखिए 2016 से तो obviously जो quick buck fast में fast बन जाना है पैसे ले आने हैं उसके ऊपर एवरी वन इज फोकसिंग तो देर हैज बिन डिटोरिएशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंटेग्रिटी ऑफ द पीपल इसमें तो कोई दो मत नहीं है कि गिरावट आई है बट एट द सेम टाइम we are also getting so many machines so many gadgets so many technologies by which we, by which we can possibly control that like i was suggesting you know a pre employment tests personality tests predictive index if you are able to do that so you will be able to get the right person for that who will not cheat you who will be loyal to you to sath dono idhar bhi bada hai idhar bhi bada hai dono side mein bada hai yeah नहीं इन्वेस्टिगेशन है तो काफी इंप्रूव कर रहे हैं नहीं क्वालिटी फीवर तो बहुत अच्छी होगी अब जितने इंटरनेशनल कंपनीज के सीईओज हैं वो सारे हमारे हैं नहीं वी हैव डेवलप्ड वी हैव डेवलप्ड वी हैव इंडीड डेवलप्ड या या 
नहीं क्वालिटी तो देखिए ऐसे इफ फ्रॉम यू आर आस्किंग फ्रॉम ए पुलिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू तो मैं तो कहूंगा कि बहुत गिरावट आई है पुलिस के हिसाब से तो बहुत गिरावट आई है बट एट द सेम टाइम इफ वट एवर दिंग्स दैट वी आर एम्प्लॉइंग टू फाइट दैट उसमें भी बहुत इंप्रूवमेंट आया है आप कुछ पूछना चाह रहे थे हाँ अपने पास है हाँ और सस्पेक्टेड दो हजार आठ में अपने फोरेंसिक साइंस लैब में आ गया था वी स्टिल हैव दैट या डीलर वीलर काम करा भी आप इसमें अरे तुम्हारा काम थे जैसे <laughs> चिंता नहीं करो थे जैसे वीलर डीलर एटीट्यूड जो काम नहीं भी हो रहा वो कैसे होगा दैट इज वीलर डीलर एटीट्यूड या नहीं आई एम एसोसिएट विद मेनी ऑफ नॉन नॉन दैट आई एम रिटायर्ड पर्सन हाँ नहीं नहीं मेरी अपनी नहीं है हम लोग वर्क करते हैं आई आई हेल्प सो मेनी कंपनीज जो बहुत लोग मेरे पास कंसल्टेंसी की आते हैं आई गिव माई कंसल्टेंसी टू देम या और बताए यू मे कैन बी आज होम टू आज हाँ बताइए maybe amdabad men association can have some session on this and we can have many more startups that could be one way because forensic world is a new world and especially with the cyber crimes coming in mujhe to lagta hai ki bahut scope aane wala hai yeah char saal sare char saal uske pehle 7 saal cbi mein raha देखिए ऐसा है नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं है देखिए ऐसा है कि एंटी करप्शन ब्यूरो में जो रूल है द रूल ये है कि इफ देर इज एलिगेशन अगेंस्ट क्लास वन ऑफिसर देन द गवर्नमेंट हैज टू गिव द परमिशन नॉन गुजराती ऑफिसर्स आई मीन एक्चुअली फिगर्स फिगर्स विल शो आप मेरे साथ बैठिएगा ए सी बी में क्या काम हुआ है ऐसा है ऐसा है I think you may kindly, you may kindly look after the figures of ACB. No, it's small. No, you remember, you remember, you remember Manshuk Sa case. He was a vice chancellor. You remember? आप लोगों में से कोई पहचानता है? Suman Deep Vidya Peet. एक सौ चार करोड़ रुपए. Hundred and four crores. So I think you need to sit with me. You need to sit with me. then we will tell you what all the work that was done at that point of time do you remember uh, the uh, additional district magistrate of rajkot you are entitled to your opinion <laughs> you are entitled to your opinion but you may kindly verify the facts that uh, that i am uh, telling before you yeah Last last question. Question. Yes, last 
No, 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 no. No, no, they are going to private also. This KPMG, Deloitte, all these big four people, they are employing them. You can also employ, and there are a number of people who are there. Yeah, you can. Now the placement is going on there. Maybe if you want, you can uh, get some people to help from there. Any more? Yes. Huh? Abhi do question or hai. Ab, I mean, I'll leave it to you. I can sit here and ask problem. Nahi. Yeah, yeah, I can take. I can take as many questions as possible. You want to get these? Uh, yes. Aap pas. I'll help you out. I'll get all these things for you. Yeah. हाँ हाँ ये सही नहीं है क्या गुजराती हूँ ये सही नहीं है क्या नहीं गुजराती ऑफिसर हाँ हाँ तो आई एम सोइंग यू लेकिन ओनली अंडर योर इंडस्ट्रीज़ हाँ हाँ तो आई एम सोइंग यू लेकिन ओनली अंडर योर इंडस्ट्रीज़ हाँ हाँ नहीं � you go to the facts and figures. I can sit with you for four hours, ten hours, and eleven hours. No, no, I have not suspended. It is the government. It is the government. Yeah, yeah. Not one. There are many. There are many. If you remember, wo talati, ye gam talavdi, then MD of Gujarat. Uh, GLDC, Gujarat Land Development Co. He was a class one. He was MD. That was in 2017. That was possibly the biggest uh, case. The whole organization, uh, the uh, the government, you know, then wound up the entire organization. इसलिए आप इनको पूरा बताइएगा ना जरा. I'm kindly helping. <laughs> Movie. Movie. अभी तो Netflix में बहुत आते हैं, Netflix में बहुत आते हैं। अब खूब देख सकते हैं, you YouTube पे बहुत आते हैं, you can CSI बहुत सारे हैं। नहीं मैं मैं इसलिए नहीं देखता हूँ क्योंकि वो ठीक नहीं दिखाते हैं। So I have been practicing it myself, so I prefer doing it myself। हाँ Police department. Yeah, in fact, the Ahmedabad city crime jo hai, wahan pe cyber crime cell hai, and they are taking all the things that you are mentioning, and the people that are trained also. But yes, there is requirement of lot many trainings because crime bahut bad gaya hai. Yeah, we need to have. We need. To. In fact, today only I was uh, talking with uh, Mr. Radia that you know AMA could have a center for cyber forensics or cyber crime investigation, helping the SMEs. Maybe it can become a reality. Maybe you can carry it forward. So we have one of the 
आप आइए वट एवर आई कैन डू आई विल डू फॉर यू आई विल एक्सटेंड ऑल हेल्प टू यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच yeah really it was indeed a very thoughtful and meaningful session on this preventive forensic and preventive vigilance mr keshav kumar sir has thrown the light on the forensic and business how it is helpful in our business how to identify the fraud different types of fraud personality test and how we can prevent it so the preventive vigilance is the thrust area for the security of the business and the preventive forensic will be the tool that help us before we finally wrap up i request to all of you to one and all kindly fill your feedback which is already the feedback form is on each and every seat please take one minute to fill the feedback which help us to give the program which you like and we can improve overall so with this not i myself on behalf of all of you and on behalf of a ama we are very thankful and grateful to kesav kumar sir for sparing the valuable time and throwing the lights on this topic from across his experience the wide experience and really it gives us the insight into this area so sir we are really very thankful to you and once again on behalf of ama and on behalf of all of we thankful to you and a very happy evening and happy weekend to all of you thank you very much good night